In this material, you will learn how to use PancakeSwap, a decentralized application for exchanging cryptocurrencies. PancakeSwap is one of the very popular platforms, especially among users of Binance Smart Chain, which competes strongly with Uniswap, as I mentioned in the previous recording. The platform is used by tens of thousands of users every day. Below, you can see the key statistics on this matter. Without further ado, let's dive into the specifics of how to use its functions. I open the official website, check if the address is correct, and if the site is secured with a safety certificate. If everything is in order, I go to the Trade tab and click on Swap, after which we are redirected to the main panel where we will exchange our cryptocurrencies. In addition to the Swap function in the upper left corner, there are many additional options such as earn or game, but I will tell you about them in a few words at the very end. First, we will focus on the most important, namely the trade option and token swapping. At the moment, the default network of the application is the previously mentioned Binance Smart Chain, while for the purpose of this recording, I will change the network to ZykeSync. In previous materials, we used swapping on the Polygon network, Arbitrum, and now, for variety, another option, which is ZykeSync. Remember that the swap looks exactly the same on each of them, so if you plan to use any other network, all the steps you need to take are the same. The only difference is the trading fee, but more on that in a moment. I will now connect my wallet to the platform. Currently, I'm using MetaMask, but besides it, you can choose any other wallet from the list. After clicking on Connect, will be prompted to select the appropriate profile. If you're using dedicated profiles based on the rules mentioned in the material about configuring MetaMask, choose a profile dedicated to decentralized applications. On the screen, permission requests will appear. Those visible on the screen, such as accessing the account state, address, activity, and suggesting transactions to sign are entirely standard. I mention this to emphasize the importance of always paying attention to what appears here because, in haste, we might click too quickly. In the case of some unscrupulous services, this could result in clearing our account. In this instance, everything is fine, so I click Connect. And at this moment, we can already make use of all the features available on the platform. We will now execute a sample transaction, exchanging Ethereum for USDC. I'll select the appropriate currency pair, and once everything aligns, you'll see your available account balance. Next, I'll set the transaction value, in this case, a symbolic one USDC. After clicking Swap on the screen, we can see all the details of our operation. I'll confirm first on the platform, and then I'll sign the transaction with my MetaMask wallet. If you're swapping other tokens and see an additional request to set a spending cap limit, don't worry, because I will discuss it later in the video. In the meantime, I'll switch the transaction fee from regular to low. It's a habit I developed while using the Ethereum network. I intentionally mention it so that you're aware of this option, which can be useful for everyday savings on the so-called gas fee. After a short wait, the transaction is confirmed and recorded on the blockchain. Now I return to the Exchange tab, and I see that USDC has appeared on the list of available account balances, which means the swap was successful. The process is the same for exchanging any other token on any network. For additional information, by hovering and clicking on the gear icon, we can set the so-called slippage. This value determines the percentage by which the transaction value can differ from the calculation displayed before its execution. For instance, if we set it to 1% and want to exchange 100 USDT for USDC, the simulation may show that we'll receive 99.9 .9 USDC, but in reality, we might get 99 units. Slippage is significant in shallow markets where larger selling amounts cause the coin price to drop significantly, and buying for a larger amount makes the price rise significantly. This way, we can control whether we are not selling too cheap or buying too expensive. And that's it! The entire exchange, the whole transaction completed in just a few clicks. 
We will now act in the opposite direction, exchanging USDC for Ethereum so that I can show you what the spending limit cap, which I mentioned earlier, is all about. I enter the amounts, click Swap, confirm on the website, and then a MetaMask window appears, which we didn't see before. This additional security measure allows us to set the maximum amount of funds that the applications we use can access. If we have $10,000 in our account but only want to exchange $100, we can grant access to only that amount here, providing an extra layer of security for the rest of the funds. This feature is particularly useful for applications we don't fully trust. In the case of PancakeSwap, there's generally little to worry about, but MetaMask always displays this option whenever we use tokens other than the default network token, regardless of the application we want to use. I choose Max, which in my case will be 1 USDC and confirm. We need to wait for a while until the transaction is processed because it also gets recorded on the blockchain. The rest of the swapping process looks exactly the same as before, adjusting the transaction fee to low and confirming. In the end, we can see that the funds have been successfully swapped. For a brief summary, it's crucial to keep in mind the costs associated with exchanges. Transaction fees are incurred for each operation and depend on two factors. Firstly, the network you're using. Some are more cost effective than others. Secondly, the timing of your transaction. There are periods when all actions are economical, but unfortunately, there are also times when the network is congested and each click can cost several dollars. For more detailed information, you can find specific data on websites dedicated to tracking transaction fees for each network. If you use this website more frequently in the upper right corner, you can change the language settings and switch the site's color scheme from light to dark, which will undoubtedly be more preferable for some of you. Additionally, when using certain decentralized exchanges, there's a chance of receiving an airdrop of the platform's represented token. Concerning PancakeSwap, it already has its token, so the chances of such an airdrop here are very slim. However, in the world of cryptocurrencies, even these services can sometimes surprise us, so time will tell. Recently, additional features have been introduced, such as Game, where you can explore the world of Web3 based on decentralized games or gambling if you're interested. Feel free to check if you can find something interesting for yourself. In the Earn section, you can farm other tokens, but I delve into this topic in a separate comprehensive cryptocurrency training available on the Udemy platform, and you can find the link to it under this video. Finally, there's the Trade tab, where you'll find features allowing you to join liquidity pools, about which I've recorded a separate video on this channel. There's also a bridge that will transfer your cryptocurrencies from one network to another, which you can choose from a list. The range of these options expands over time as the platform continues to evolve. If you need a tutorial on a topic that hasn't been covered yet, leave a comment under one of the YouTube videos so I know what is most important for you, my students, and what materials to prepare first. This course and channel are created for you and it would bring me great joy if I could contribute to your success. I hope this material has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Good luck.